Are You Going With Me was composed by Pat Metheny in 1980. It was written using the Synclavier, back then a revolutionary digital system. It was recorded on one of my top favorite Pat Metheny Group's album, Off Ramp, in 1982. It was recorded under the label ECM through the regular procedure of legendary ECM producer Manfred Eicher. The process of Manfred Eicher went this way. You've got two days of recording, one day of mixing, and that's it, you're done. Compared to later albums by the Pat Metheny Group, such as Still Life Talking, Letter From Home, Speaking Of Now, and The Way Up, the albums of the ECM era, while less produced, had something of the unknown to them. They had the thing you get from not being able to record multiple takes and not being able to correct mistakes. When you have only two days of recording, you must be all in all the time. And I think that kind of energy is apparent in those albums. So this is the harmonic structure of the whole piece. We're starting from the tonic C minor going to its six degree A flat. Then going to B flat 11. Then we have this descending motion from C to A minor 7 flat 5 to A flat to G7. I want you to notice that the first part is 32 bar long. The second part where we get back to C minor is only 16 bar long. So we are seeing a structure that's already interesting on its own even before the melody or the solo. And the melody adds another layer of interest to the music. Same as the harmonic structure, it also has a profile of its own, not always reflecting the harmonic structure, not always agreeing with it. So let me show you two interesting things about the melody. We start with an initial statement. Instead of closing on the C, it closes on, on the B flat. It's a small detail, but it makes a difference. It's kind of an open end. After the first statement, the logical thing to do would be maybe to complete it with something like that. To go up maybe. But instead what we're having is we're having nothing just which takes us to the A flat 
and then we're going to going to the B flat 11. So we're having the connected to the same rhythmical motif. What it does is to smooth over the change to the B-flat 11. The next time the melody and the harmony work together again is when we're getting back to the C minor. We have a strong beginning on the one. Going to the A minor 7 flat 5 and the response This repetition helps the music become more definitive towards the end. When I started analyzing this tune, I initially thought that I was going to have an easier job compared to my other videos on the music of the Pat Metheny group. But as I was analyzing this tune, I, as I was preparing this video, I realized that there is a good reason why this tune is such a classic. It's not that simple after all. 